Hi my dear students welcome back to our basic science class today let's discuss our new chapter lesson 8 keeping diseases at bay health is a state without disease this chapter gives us an awareness about the situation of transmission of diseases contagious diseases causative organisms and carriers of diseases This chapter also explains about the self and environmental hygiene and vaccines. So, let's start. Have you ever been unable to carry out your pre-planned programs due to diseases? What could be the reason for the increase of diseases during the rainy season? Let's check. Hope you have studied earlier that mosquitoes, house fly, rats, etc. transmit diseases. but what causes diseases yes diseases are caused by the action of microorganisms like virus fungus and bacteria diseases spread when these microorganisms get transmitted from one infected person to another carriers of diseases there are different carriers of diseases One such carrier is house fly. How do the house fly transmit diseases? House flies are carriers of microorganisms. House fly from one dirty place set on and covered foods when we eat this contaminated food the microorganisms will reach our body and transmit diseases. Common cold, jaundice are two different diseases. Do you think both are transmitted the same way? No. Common cold is transmitted by virus and jaundice is transmitted by contaminated food and water. Are different diseases like chikungunya, dengue fever, filariasis and diarrhea spread by the same creature? No. Chikungunya, dengue fever and filariasis are spread by mosquitoes. but diarrhea is spread through contaminated water what are the ways by which the diseases causing microorganisms get transmitted from one person to another yes through air through food and water through creatures through waste materials and through the use of unsterilized needle etc Diseases transmitted from one person to another are called contagious diseases. Common cold, conjunctivitis, cholera, typhoid, chikungunya, dengue fever, filariasis, jaundice and rat fever are some common contagious diseases in our place. Whereas diseases that do not transmitted from one person to another are called non contagious diseases anemia kashiyorkar diabetes hypertension headache stomach ache heart diseases cancer etc some of the examples of non contagious diseases so now let's discuss some mode of transmission of some diseases first through air Diseases transmitted through air are common cold, chickenpox, measles, tuberculosis, etc. Next is through food and water. Diseases transmitted are rat fever, typhoid, cholera, jaundice, etc. Third one, house fly. Diseases transmitted are cholera and diarrhea. through mosquito diseases transmitted are filariasis malaria dengue fever chikungunya next mode of transmission is through contact diseases transmitted are conjunctivitis leprosy etc then what are the diseases that can be prevented by destroying mosquitoes yes chikungunya dengue fever malaria and filariasis extra are the diseases that can be prevented by destroying mosquitoes 
where do the mosquitoes lay their eggs and multiply yes pits filled with muddy water can be seen all around waste tins and pools are seen scattered all around and is filled with dirty water where mosquitoes can multiply Aren't we responsible for creating favorable situation in our house and surroundings through the growth of mosquitoes? Yes, isn't it? In order to know about this, we should walk along the public roads and schools. Now, let's complete an activity from the textbook. Examine the picture and write down the situation favorable for the multiplication of mosquitoes. Uncovered air pipes of septic tank let in mosquitoes to the tank where they lay eggs and multiply. Second point, surroundings are left unhygienic and uncleared. Third one, coconut shells, plastic tins and cans, eggshells, etc. found scattered in the compound. Last one, stagnant water. What are the measures to be taken in and around your house to prevent this? Yes, we must keep personal and surroundings and food hygiene. Destroy water-filled ports and other containers left open in the compound and use preventive medicines. Do you think it is sufficient to prevent multiplication of mosquitoes in the surroundings of your house alone? No. It is not sufficient to prevent the multiplication of mosquitoes in the surroundings of your house alone. We should prevent the multiplication of mosquitoes in schools and public places. Having to study that dry day is also once a week to prevent the breeding of mosquitoes? This is done by draining away the stagnant water from coconut shells, plastic tins, toys, pots, eggshells and terraces. It will be more effective when this is done on the same day by all the people presiding in an area. Cleaning weeds and grass in our house premises and cleaning drainage are the other methods to prevent the breeding of mosquitoes. Other techniques we use in our house to escape from mosquito bite are mosquito net, foggy, mosquito bat, mosquito coil, properly dispose of kitchen waste etc okay children it's all for today we shall meet on the next class thank you